Okay. Headhunter's Customs back, and we got it all painted up. I didn't do so much on the back side. It doesn't matter. Um... I mean, maybe it does for pictures, I guess, if you see them from behind. Anyway, though, mainly wanted the front side. So, the question I always get, how flexible is it after you paint it? So, still super flexible. I'm not going to really need to bend it the other way, but we'll just do it just to show. So, flexibility, still there. Don't really see paint chipping off or anything because of it. Um, the process I did was I skipped primer because primer is mainly used uh, for painting things like um, pewter minis and you need paint to stick since it just doesn't, it's not, one second. Things like pewter minis and stuff because paint doesn't acrylic paint doesn't want to stick to pewter but paint will stick to paint you know so they did a good job even kind of matches the way the armor looks there so that's definitely a cool that's uh, i mean you're probably not gonna see them from much from behind but that's i mean you're not gonna have highlights behind anyway what am i saying anyway <laughs> skip to the primer i went straight to just i just doused this thing in a metal paint uh then i then I did an overcoat, uh, a matte overcoat, Mr. Super Clear, um, both sides. Then I used a black wash that I made, drenched it in that, wiped up the extra on top, and then I uh, did silver dry brush, and then I did a mixture overcoat of Mr. Super Clear and uh, Rust-Oleum, I believe, um, times two gloss. I did one layer of the gloss and one layer of the other one. I just kind of wanted to see if I could get like a semi-gloss effect. I wanted it to still be shiny, but not too shiny. And I think it worked. So, um, yeah, it's, there's no reason to miss out on a cool armor tabard piece because it's super flexible and, uh, yeah, super flexible and everything. And, uh, paint's not gonna be an issue so get yours today